Okay, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I made the mystical looking tree. Um, as you would have noticed, um, if you've seen the tree already, it is not simply just negative black and white, or like just negative like the others. It has a weird green tint to it and a strange wood like texture. Um, to get this texture, what I first did is I drew on this uh, bag here, the special bag. It has this kind of grainy wood look to it. So I drew it on that, as you can see, with the pen, like I did most of the drawing. Um, and then we layer it from the background first. Control T, make it straight or straighter anyway. See, I've got the ruler line down there, so I know where halfway is. Um, and that way I can reflect it better or well even so we get down that straight line there which looks like I've done perfectly oh ah oh, damn it okay now if I get down that straight line there so you need to do that with the ruler and then if I control C control V copy and paste Control T, hold down Shift so it stays the same size, and there we have it. That is the whole tree done, and that way I didn't have to draw the whole thing symmetrically. Or that way I didn't, yeah, that way I didn't have to draw the whole thing symmetrically. Okay, now you want to crop the picture to get rid of all the unnecessary bits out there that you scanned in with the paper and such when you scanned it in okay enter control d to, to d or the arrow okay we want to flatten these unlock the layer again and then control i and as you can see here if you don't turn it to black and white the reds become a lovely kind of blues and greens and give this tree just a lovely mystical look Okay, that's almost all done. The rest is I'm just going to show you how I cut it out. Okay, we get the line tool and we make it white and white again. Put a line here so we just block up the um, block up where the you know where the color isn't complete, where the white isn't complete, and a line here, and then. Flatten again, select the magic wand tool, click here, delete, deselect, and there we have it a cut out, or almost cut out, enough anyway. Just go around the edges with a rubber tree, and you know that's how. How I do it, maybe with a bit more care for the actual one, and adjust the um, brightness and stuff a little bit more. But yeah, and then you can simply move it from one image. Ooh. You can simply move it from one image to another set or another image that you want, and that is that.